Hey guys, if you like this video, consider subscribing or checking us out on Patreon. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching! watching. Hey, Brat. Don't open the door until you've checked who it is on the intercom. You're going to get yourself murdered. And don't wander around with a toothbrush in your mouth, it's unsightly. Hey, shouldn't you have said something before all that? What? Oh. Long time no see, Aaron. Honestly, I can't believe you. You could have rang or at least messaged me before you came back. I thought you'd be asleep at this hour. No, no. It's not like it was a day or two, it's been half a year. Will you put out my winter clothes, Aaron? I'll switch around your summer and winter stuff. Please listen to me at least a little. I am listening, oh you cleaned it properly. I filled the bath, so go hop in. Okay, I will. It's nearly 10 years since this egotistical man became my lover. Want some food? I can eat. Got it. I'll do a load of washing tomorrow, so please put out anything you want done. I was 15 when we met, he was still 22. I was in school and he was in uni back then, but now we're both outstanding members of society. He's always been a very capable person. So, well, I'm used to it. We hadn't been away from each other for a long time before, but long business trips like these aren't unusual. When he's this dispassionate, I wonder if we aren't stuck in a rut. Spring onions, carrot, onions, and there's some meat. Dried noodles too, I can make vegetable udon. Sometimes the people around me ask me if it doesn't concern me. But strangely enough, I don't feel anything of the sort. After 10 years of dating we don't need to put things in words to understand each other. We don't really message or call each other either. But, well, I'm not a mind reader. So I can't predict what time he'll be home. He told me to at least call at night. Usually he's a coffee person, but when he's really tired he wants to drink tea. When it's late he doesn't want to eat a big meal. I know these things without asking him. So he doesn't express his desires in words either. Okay, now to boil the noodles. What? Are you going somewhere? Ah, sorry, Levi. I was making udon, but we're out of noodles. I'm gonna run to the convenience store, I won't be long. If there's anything else you want. No, I'll come with you. What? Wait a second, I'll just dry my hair. No, it's okay, dinner will be even later. It's already late, a little more time isn't going to make any difference. I'm coming, wait here. And put this on. You'll catch a cold if you go out like that. It's still only late October, but it's a bit chilly tonight. Udon, Udon, we were out of something else too. I'm sure we won't need any today. Sorry for making you wait. No problem. He, I ended up buying ice cream too. Why would you buy ice cream in weather like this? You just don't know the bliss of eating ice cream in a warm room on a cold day. Didn't you know? The ice cream they sell in winter is richer than the kind they sell in summer. As it gets colder your basal metabolism becomes quicker, so you naturally crave sweet things. Well, I don't know. Understand? I didn't buy you any, Levi. You never said you wanted any. Are you really going to eat it? It really is winter already. It's such a clear night, you can see the starts perfectly. Really? Yeah, look over there. You got good eyes. Eh? Can't you see it? It's right above that roof. I know where it is, my eyesight's gotten worse lately. It's gotten worse again? Should you buy new glasses? Is it old age? Watch it, Brad. I just have a little trouble seeing things far away. Not being able to see the stars isn't going to affect my everyday life. You should be more concerned about it, Levi. Did you know, Levi? 
Orion is assigned to travelers. You can tell the time and the direction from its position. A signpost of hope. If you become lost, that star will show you the way. I want to see everything I can. I want to know the meaning of everything. Though it's not really needed in this day and age. Life would be boring without seeing and knowing. You're angry, aren't you? You've been nagging me since I got back. You've noticed? Please at least message me when you're coming home. It's so cold. It would be in those shorts. It's your own fault if you catch a cold. I'm not that weak, I'll be fine. But I might take another bath once I've cooked. My business trip was supposed to go for another two months. But I couldn't take it anymore. I worked myself to death getting everything finished. I don't even have time to sleep. I barely ate, it was horrible. But well, I'm sorry. Aaron, I missed you. It's only times like these, you say the words I want to hear. That's unfair, as if you see right through. I may not know when you're coming home. Then look at me, Aaron. Let me see your face. But when the seasons change, I change my clothes. I know what he wants to eat and drink. It's only natural to miss and think affectionately of each other, because we're in love. No problem, I brought some earlier. Is that why you follow me to this door? We never ate the udon. Are you still going to make it? I don't think I'll be able to move for a while. It's freezing. What are you doing? Airing this place out. Are you trying to make it up to me? Shut up. No matter how long we're together, no matter how well I know him, we'll never be one. Sometimes, I feel lonely. Sometimes, we fight. What? I was just thinking you must really love me. To work yourself to death because you miss me. But, I'm not insecure. We can connect and communicate with each other. Ah, are you blushing? I don't want to hear another word from you. That's how I know. If I look up my way it becomes clear, like with that winter star. Hope you enjoyed!